Hey YouTube, guess who's back? So, today I come to you with no makeup, no mascara, not even my eyebrows done, because there's a bump it da buzz kit, a buzz agent un unboxing. So, I'm going to slice into this. Um, I like buzz agent, but geez, buzz agent is really cool. This is my second, um, this month, my second buzz kit. So, doing pretty all right. My uh, my buzz score is about an 8.0, and after this, hopefully, it'll go up a little more, which would be awesome. But, um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to show you the box, so here you go. There's the box. Okay, it comes with these coupons in it, and let's see how much the coupons are. They're for $3 off to CoverGirl products, so there's that. And then there's always the little card in here. Woohoo, it's here. Your hands feel soft. Wait, wait, don't put us down yet. Um, I think that's really cute. And I know it's in this box. I know you don't yet, but um, here we go. I'm going to pull it out of its little whoosh, bubble wrap. That, By the way, I am going to have so much fun with this later. Um, this is the CoverGirl Clean Whip cream or creme or however you say it. I say cream, so if you don't like me saying cream, sorry. That's how I say it. And it is a foundation. This is in 305 Ivory. Ivory. Um, opening it up, there's... Ew. It smells... I can't explain it. Smells aren't really usually important. Um, unless you have really sensitive skin. So here it is. This is the product. And I'm going to kind of run my finger in it just real quick just to feel. Ooh, it's soft. It's it's whipped. I mean, I've tried whipped foundation before when they had the Dream Matte Mousse stuff. Um, so this is a little uh, creamier than that stuff. That That was really drying. And this is supposed to be mattifying. That's the reason I signed up for it, is because it's supposed to be mattifying. So let's see. I'm going to take this, apply it to my face. If anybody sees this, this is probably going to be really light for my skin. But because I chose online, I couldn't really go, okay, well, that's my color. So I just kind of chose the lightest one because that's usually sometimes kind of my skin tone. But here I go, I'm going to blend it. I usually use my fingers for this because brushes take it on, and I don't like using brushes. I don't usually like using foundation, but if I find a good foundation, I'll use it. So it is a little light for me. Um, I'm sure if I am going to contour and highlight and all that, this would be great for contouring. I'm sorry, do you see this? I mean, it looks like crap now, but after some good blending and stuff. It doesn't really give a lot of coverage. It's really light, minimal coverage, very light. I like heavy coverage when I do use foundation. It has a slightly yellow base, which is not too bad. It's, hmm, I guess it's all right. It's, it is light for me. I mean, if you can see this, it is very light for me, but like I said, if I were using, you know, highlight and bronzer and contouring and blush and putting color back into my face, um, I guess it's not bad. It It's, it's catching in my pores and on the hairs and kind of everywhere, and I did just wash my face. Like, I used my proactive knockoff stuff and exfoliated, like, really, 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 really exfoliated. So, here it is. It feels nice. It feels soft. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a whole lot of makeup, which is nice. Um, I'm sure if I had a beauty sponge or a beauty blender or something like that so I don't have to pull on my face because the product is sinking into my pores a little bit. Which I'm not, uh, I'm not happy with that, that it sinks into my pores. So, but here we go. 
This is my first impression of the product, the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream. Um, it's nice. It does have a mattifying effect, which I enjoy. It doesn't feel or look like there's a whole lot of makeup on my face, so there's that. It's not bad. Um, I'm not usually a foundation person. Um, the coverage, I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to have to use it for a little while and actually see how I like it. And I'm going to, you know what, just for, just for the sake of things, I'm going to sit here and I'm actually going to put on one more coat. I am going to cake this ish on. So, I'll warm it up between my fingers this time. So, <laughs> I know I always forget my forehead because I'm like, my cheeks... Cause that's where I have all my blemishes and stuff is on my cheeks and the side of my face and mm -hmm. so just gonna smear it in make sure it really gets in there I'm sure after setting this um, it probably looks and feels even better so mm -hmm. I have a little zit there so I'll just try to cover that up Hmm, not bad. It accentuates all my fine lines and wrinkles and try to get up close so you can see because I do not have a good camera right now. But, okay, anybody watching this, if you check the very first uh, video I posted, there is information about a giveaway from when I do get a camera. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that video out. So, I don't know. I think I like it. Um, it's something I'm going to have to get used to and figure out how to fill my pores before putting the product on. So, um, there it is. There is the Buzz Agent unopening and review all in one. Um, I'll keep using it. And, uh, I mean, it feels nice. It feels clean, which is good. So, yeah, I guess uh, 1 out of 10 stars, I'd give it, I'd probably give it about an 8, which is not bad. I mean, you know, if you're guy grading and you go, oh man, that guy's an 8, he's a pretty good looking guy. So, okay. Well, if you like the Buzz Agent unopenings or unboxings, or unboxings in general, go ahead and like this video. If you want to see more of this pretty face, and if you want to, um, get into my weight loss updates, which, by the way, there's one coming out soon. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Those are coming out. I've lost about 17 and a half pounds, so get in there, okay? And I also do some other things on this channel, so go ahead and do all that stuff down there. If you want to see something specific that you want me to try out before you try it out, Go ahead and leave a comment below in the little section, and I will see you guys later. Bye.